at ShaneStars at DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the Mean Bean ROM by Mikey XDA for the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. This is a TouchWiz based ROM on the latest over the air uh, software from Verizon. It has the stock look and feel, but it has been tweaked and modded for ultimate battery savings. And uh, one main reason that I would recommend running this ROM is specifically for the battery savings that you get. Now, the way that he's modified this CPU, it goes all out whenever the screen's turned on. So you're going to have a buttery smooth experience as long as you're using the device. But where the real battery savings kick in is when you turn the screen off, it automatically underclocks it to 1 gigahertz. Uh, so really there's no reason to use all that quad core CPU power if the screen's turned off and so that's what he's taking advantage of here he has uh, clocked it down a little bit so that way it saves battery just kinda sips battery as long as the screen is turned off you're really not gonna see your battery drain hardly at all so that's the main feature of this ROM is the CPU tweaks but you'll notice that it runs very smoothly and Everything functions really nicely. There are some other things that are included here. He has some settings that are included. Uh, so the power toggle settings. So when you drop this down, you have a weather widget there. And then you can also customize these widgets here. Uh, you can disable them or enable them. Like so. And then you can also choose to configure those. You can even include another battery toggle up here. Uh, I have it transparent for now. You can add another, a whole other row of toggles there if you like and you would just kind of slide over to edit those and then you can also change the colors of the toggles as well and you can click to add a toggle there um, so when you're finished with all of this of course you would click done so it has tons of customization in here if you go into this setting uh, you see that there's even more customization uh, you can choose your battery controls brightness controls which can you can add a brightness control there to your pull down um, volume controls all kinds of stuff in that power toggles menu so that's pretty cool and then you have that this weather widget here is uh, this is where you would control that weather widget and then you have the multi window control now there's an option to add an application which I've done here but for some reason I couldn't get that to stick now I know that Mikey is updating this ROM on a regular basis which is why he included uh, this over the air updater. Um, I installed this ROM yesterday and I noticed this morning there's already an update. So he's updating this thing like clockwork. Uh, so you can expect tons of more features. I know this thing is not feature rich just yet but that is coming for this ROM. There's going to be lots and lots of features. Uh, one great thing about running a TouchWiz ROM is that your S Pen is going to function fully uh, so you're not going to have any issues with lack of support on your S Pen. The only AOSP ROM that is including S Pen functionality right now is AOKP. Other than that, you're going to have to go with a TouchWiz ROM. Uh, so while this may not be uh, incredibly customizable like an AOKP, it runs smooth and you're not missing out on any of your features. One of the main features from TouchWiz that I like is the one-handed operation because this is such a ginormous screen. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention here is he does have the battery modified there as well for 1% and then he has a power menu here as well so that we can restart directly to recovery which we'll go ahead and do now and I'll show you guys how to install it real quick so of course you will need to be unlocked rooted with recovery installed Adam Outler has a new one click program uh, his casual has been updated and it is mostly one click now it does everything automatically so any files that you would need it downloads all of that auto magically and makes it real easy I've got a video on how to do that so I'll include a link to that in the description once you have your recovery installed you're just gonna wipe factory reset swipe to wipe cache swipe to wipe davit cache swipe to wipe then you'll install the mean bean uh, whatever version you're on like I said he updates this thing like clockwork so you probably will not be on 06 because I know this morning 07 was out um, so you'll go ahead and select that and swipe to flash. All the G apps are included so you don't have to worry about flashing those separately. And then you'll just reboot your phone. Shouldn't take any more than about five minutes uh, to install your ROM. But anyways guys, that was Mean Bean by Mikey XDA. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 2. Oh, I forgot to mention, he's got a new boot logo. That's the boot logo and then there's the boot animation. 
So a nice, nice, clean, smooth ROM with all your TouchWiz features, and uh, pretty overall, pretty good ROM. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed.